Hello there guys, this is one of my first videos about World of Warcraft. I'll be showing you how to make some gold. And you gotta have that chang to chang in your pockets, right? Exactly. Now, what I'm gonna make is a video on mining, so if you don't have mining, you might as well just go back out of this video right now. Um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the mining places that you can go to make the most gold and efficient golden. There's a ton of ores and veins and ghost iron. That's what we will be farming here today is ghost iron ore because ghost iron ore is very popular in Mr. Pandaria. Um, blacksmiths use it and miners use it to smelt them into ghost iron bars. So um, yeah, here we go. Okay, now what you will need for these Bang, Majibus, is you will need forager's gloves and mist piercing goggles. The forager's gloves will give you, um, you can gather resources from Pandaria a lot faster than just, you know, other things. So, yeah, it's way better to have those instead of just doing it regularly. Uh, yeah. If I can find them, okay, there's fur, just gloves, and then Mr. Piercing Goggles, get them out. Okay, so put them on. Um, the gloves and your head won't really affect your item level, well, it might. See, it didn't affect mine. Actually, it did. <laughs> oh, excuse me. See, cause my gear level's at 4, uh, 97, as you can see. But then, next thing you know, it's split. Only, uh, 4.37. Okay. So, let's go. Um, yes, and if you guys are wondering that I do have the Onyxia Drake, and I was very happy and surprised when it dropped off of Onyxia, I was literally sweating. I mean, I just had, like, a nerd moment at that moment, because... It's such a rare amount, and it's it's so cool too. It looks so amazing. Just look at it. Okay. See, there is an ore right there, and in the um, see the trillium, trillium ore. Right there. Okay. So let's see. Just get this out, and you just make them go to that guy. You know, if you're a hunter and you don't, you know. I of anything, come over here. You douche, you fame day up. Let me cook them on some. And then you go to the next and Drake, and then you just keep on farming. Now, there's certain farming spots which I am going to right now, and I am going to show you on the map right now. And it is over here. In the, yeah, over here in the Tushin Burial Grounds. Now, over here, you will find a ton of ore. I mean, just a ton. It's just not even cool. I mean, it's just amazing on how much ore is over here and veins and nuts and stuff, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you'll just find them everywhere. And so are you in the Wayward Isle. You'll find them a ton, too, over there. And, yeah. Hold on, my friend. Okay. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> okay. Um <clears throat> Okay. Um for some reason there might not be a lot over here today. Somebody probably all mind it. But they do spawn after like ten minutes or so. Or maybe even more. I don't know. <laughs> So, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Every once in a while, for some reason, it's not showing up. Oh. It might start spawning again. Things like that. Like a boss. And I do play Horde on the Cool Tyrus server. I'm a orc hunter named Ugrim. I am mostly on around 7 to three or two at least maybe one I don't know um yeah 
Mm, yeah. The basics on this. I'm gonna show you where you need to farm, okay? Over here on the Tushin Burial Ground, which I hope you can see. Um, yeah, you need to find a ton over here. You can just... a lot. In White Petal Lake, there's a ton in the water also. You can find like five in the water at a time, which is very surprising, because I don't really see that much ore in the waters in Pandaria or in any the worlds and things like that. Um, also, you can find things over here in the Windward Isle. Over here, it's like a little island and things like that. Um, and the Kunlai Summit, you don't really find a lot. I'm just going to say that right now. Valley of Four Winds, you can't, it's not a good place to farm. If you want to find, like, uh, Kuiperit or whatever it's called, you want to farm over here. The Dread Waste over here and the Brinny Muck. Um, and over there you can find some Kuiper ore. Come on steps, you can find Trillium and Ghost Iron, but I wouldn't suggest farming here because there ain't much. Um, in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, you can find Trillium ore, you can find Ghost Iron ore. And that's all the ore in Pandaria that you can find. That's it. And if you want to have an herbalist, this is this uh, works the same way because those, uh, hold on, golden lotus and things like that. I will resume. And goodbye, guys.